Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff and Adam Build of Zenith. I am Adam and today in this video what I want to do is just go through the firewall forward kit from Zenith. Actually not the whole thing but just like some of the parts. And mainly what I want to do is in this video tell you what I'm about to tell you right now. Which is if you are buying a UL power engine or just whatever engine that, UL, that Zenith provides a firewall forward kit for if you're building a Zenith, just do that. Disclaimer, just because we do it, doesn't mean you should. All right, what we're gonna do is go through it and just inventory everything and make sure that we have everything that we need and that it all right. So let's do that. And also dad's here. It, it isn't actually just me, even though I know a lot of times you only see me in the videos. So let's do that now. Get the firewall forward kit, get everything you can from Zenith because we didn't do it the right way and because for some reason and we got confused and uh, we bought the engine from UL Power and we got some of the parts from Zenith but like we didn't realize that that some of those parts were already included in the firewall forward package if we'd gotten that. So anyway, um, that was super frustrating, very confusing. So to avoid that, just get everything as much as you can from Zenith in the kit um, and the firewall forward kit is going to uh, include, I'm not going to cover everything here because uh, well you could just look up like a list of all the items that's included but it's going to include like your engine uh, mount here it's going to include your cowling which is the, the big gray things up there I guess it would include your engine as well if you buy like the you know the whole package and then your propeller also which we we have, uh, no, we got a, no, I think that might be the same propeller that we got. I'm not sure. Um, and then we also got the optional uh, cabin heat kit as well, but that's not standard with the uh, firewall forward kit. So let's look at this box. Let's go through this. And I just kind of want to, um, I'm pretty sure everything's still in here. This is kind of all of the extra stuff that we got that you may have just seen us unpacking or maybe you are right now watching us unpack this in super fast motion uh, because we had to go through everything and you know make sure it was all uh, all there and this actually this is the whole list of everything and so for this particular one um, there were certain things that we already had and certain things that we just didn't want like we already have a propeller we already have we bought, had bought the cowling we have a different bat battery set up so we don't uh, we don't need that um, et cetera, et cetera. So this is not going to be everything, but I just kind of want to mainly just give you a, a little, a little visual on, on, you know, what the kit is, kit is like and what some of the components are. And I'm still actually figuring out what all this stuff is and kind of how we're going to end up using it. So we have uh, fuel lines, which look a lot like a snake. We have these plates right here that are going to, this is actually what I'm about to work on. I was just working on this, but then I thought I'd film this video and these plates are going to go somewhere on here something like, how do they go like that? I don't know. They go on here. They go on here. Trust me. They hold engine stuff on there. And, uh, and that's actually kind of one of my big things is like UL power. Why are you selling an engine that has certain thing or that doesn't come with certain things that like you basically really need in order to actually run the engine. Um, like for example, an oil cooler, uh, which actually doesn't come in, uh, doesn't actually come from Zenith either. It doesn't come in the firewall forward kits. So like what's up with that? So um, <clears throat> as I've said several times in other videos, uh, I accidentally bought a smaller version of the oil cooler from Wix aircraft because Wix aircraft does have UL power parts which is cool because uh, they're, otherwise they're kind of hard to find. 
Um, but Wix has has that, but I, I just bought the one that they had on there and I didn't think about it. And it's, uh, it's actually too small, so I need to, to get a different uh, oil cooler. But uh, that is an additional thing. That does not come with the engine or with the firewall forward kit. But Zenith does provide these um, oil cooler mounts that bolt onto the front of the engine as I have installed uh, in here. Well, not finished in here because I got to get the oil cooler in first. Um, so those are in there. That's cool. Uh, and in, in a different video, you'll see me actually, I think, putting some of these things together and doing some of this engine stuff. But that's not what we're talking about. We're kind of more talking about what's actually in here. We've got, we've got hoses. We've got, uh, I'm not going to go through every single part, but we've got, oh, just a section eight. Okay, well, electrical stuff, Adel clamps, electrical fittings, uh, some sort of, uh, I don't know what this is. Firewall ECU, is this for the ECU? Some sort of grommet thingy. We got little rubber covers. We've got, this is the section that I need right now actually. This is ignition and voltage regulator. This is actually gonna be your little metal bracket for cooling your voltage regulator, uh, as well as you know related accessories and rivets and uh, hardware. Uh, a whole bunch of Adel clamps. This is actually what's going to clamp these plates onto here. I think it goes like this, right? It should go. Oh, dang it. It goes like this. No, it goes like this. Like this. I feel really stupid right now, but whatever. No, it must go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It totally goes like. Probably like. Anyway, so you, you have a bunch of ADL clamps and it goes, uh, you, you use to clamp these plates on here and then these plates, we're gonna put uh, the voltage, uh, we're gonna, one of them is gonna have the voltage regulator on the inside and then it's also gonna have the, uh, the ignition coils. Uh, so there's the mounting plate for that. You also, you know, there's, uh, let's see, throttle oil lines as well. These things which look like sausages or something. Uh, which is great because uh, you don't have to make the lines, which I really, really appreciate because making lines is kind of a pain. And then we have the uh, little, little scat tubing for the cooling of the voltage regulator. We have some electrical wiring here. Um, yeah, that's yeah, it's decent. And then we have some engine baffling. Cool. We've got... Um, this is for, oh, these are, uh, let's see, these are uh, little screws and things for the cowling kit. I forgot that um, Zeus fasteners are not, that I forgot they're not using Zeus fasteners. So I'm definitely gonna swap, probably swap those out for Zeus fasteners, because Zeus fasteners are the bomb. Uh, they're so much faster than screws. It's way, so much, so much better. Um, and then we've got some other fuel, fuel related stuff, fittings. L bends and stuff. I know you can't really see it super well, but I'm just kind of just kind of going through this a little bit to give you a visual here. We've got a solenoid, so that's fun. A relay. We have another gascalator because uh, I guess they use two gascalators. Uh, I'm not sure if they just use two gascalators for the cruiser or if they just use two gascalators for the UL power. Um, not totally sure. But anyway, we've got two of them, so that's great. We've got, uh, you know, engine mount. Oh, this is what the bolts, this is what came with the bolts. Oh yeah, one very important note about the UL Power engine is it does, among other things, if you get it from UL Power, it does not come with mounting bolts for some reason. For some reason it will come with uh, the, the rubber uh, vibration dampers and some other stuff, but it will not come with the actual mounting bolts that you need to mount this. Uh, I talked about that in the video of actually mounting the engine. They come with the firewall forward kit, and that is uh, that's what came that's what came in here. And I think these ones are these are probably actually for for right there. Okay, we have this little guy, which is uh, to be honest, I'm not totally sure what this is. 
Fuel selector valve installation sheet for two tank hookup. Polak motorized fuel selector valve. Okay, I'll be honest right here, and I did not realize that, it, that the fuel selector valve was like a fancy motorized fuel selector valve or whatever. So that's kind of new to me. I'm gonna have to learn how all that hooks up, and it's uh, it's kind of falling out of the it's falling out of the box here. Jeez, guys, what happened to the box? Did it fall out of an airplane or something? Let's see what this looks like. Okay, interesting. So it's, this is a fuel selector valve. Interesting. Huh. Why is it motorized though? I'm not sure how I feel about a motorized fuel selector valve. Now the thing with this engine, the thing about this engine is that um, if your battery's not working or if you don't have a battery, um, then you don't really need to worry about trying to get the fuel right because your engine is not going to be running because uh, you need the ECU. I probably should have mentioned that in the other the other video about the engine. Is, that's what that is. At least it's here. We've got our ignition switch here. Cool. That way we can ignite things. Okay. Uh, we got an oil door hinge. I think that's about it. And as well as you have some like aluminum brackety thingies and stuff for uh, the baffling. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's that's uh, that's all the kind of the little bits that come in the firewall forward kit. Again, I know I didn't show you every little part uh, in detail, but this is mainly just to let you kind of understand sort of what's involved in the firewall forward kit and uh, mainly just that you should buy the firewall forward kit with all this stuff. So that way you don't have to think about it because it's, it's very difficult. It really is very difficult uh, if you buy this engine and then you know, you're like, okay, cool. I got the engine from UL Power, but UL Power is kind of doing their own thing, you know, and then, so trying to integrate that into the, the Zenith side, there's, um, there's a lot to have to, um, well, to figure out, like, you know, like what exactly do you actually need to have on the engine and, uh, and, and what do you, what's provided and what's not and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, first time around, it's very difficult. I'm sure it's easy second time around. And I think that's probably why it's such a, you know, kind of confusing process at first, because all the people that have been doing this, you know, for years and years, they kind of forget, I, I think, how confusing all this stuff can be for a, a first time builder. So um, I will say it is nice that if you do actually get the firewall forward kit from Zenith just about everything is actually included in the firewall forward kit so that's nice but you just got to know that that's actually what you need to get okay that's enough for now end of video I'll see you on the next one